Scott Sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101 late game uh, uh, post game show and uh, Sunday, Sunday night football pregame show, or well, third quarter uh, update show, we'll call it. Well, Browns fans are angry and, and in pain because the Browns lost to the Arizona Cardinals bad at 38 to 24 at University of Phoenix Stadium in Arizona. In Phoenix, Arizona. This was a bad loss. For the Browns today, and players and fans are upset and frustrated besides angry, and they came out and they looked flat today by far. They the Cardinals have four takeaways, and Baker threw a perfect pass to OBJ and he just could not catch it. And the Browns uh, were already uh, uh, down seven nothing in the first, and they came back and it was tied at seven. Then. And then it was 10 nothing, and the Browns scored a touchdown. It was uh, 10 to um, 10, 10 to 7 at the half. And then it was uh, it was a uh, 17 to 7. And then the Browns it was uh, 17 uh, 14. And then it was uh, 24 to 17. Then they scored another touchdown, and it was. Uh, it was 14 to 7, and then it was 21 to 7. And then they were down 21 to 10 at the half, excuse me. Then it was, uh, the Carlos came out. They scored another one. It was 28 to 17. And then it was, uh, they got within four. It was 2017 at the half. I made a mistake. In the third quarter, it was 27, 21 17. And then it was 28 17. And then it was, uh, Thirty-five to seventeen. There was thirty-five twenty-four, and there was thirty-eight twenty-four. And the Browns just couldn't do anything right today. Uh, they just. And this was a game the Browns needed to win to keep their playoff hopes alive. And Freddie Kitchens' future with the Browns, I think, is going nowhere. The big question is: Is <coughs> do you think Freddie Kitchens is going to be back with the Browns next year? Now, on the fifth quarter, uh, on the Servatini fifth quarter show, on uh, uh, My 43 The Block today, that's where it was on, 52% say yes, 47 say no. I want to know what you think. Do you think Freddie Kitchens is going to return? I want to know. Let me know. Leave me a comment on my sports, Scott Sports 101 discussion page. Because I'm going to leave a comment there. I'm going to put something. I'm going to put that on my... Uh, uh, my uh, sports uh, 101 uh, Scott Sports 101 discussion page and I'll also leave you a comment that's Scott Sports 101 at gmail.com because I know the Browns I think they're thinking about bringing Freddie back next year but I don't know if that's such a good idea and the Browns just might be crazy enough to do it so but this has been a disappointing season if they don't win these last two games but we had high expectations for this team during the preseason and during the regular season, and now we're six and eight. We had a chance around at seven, and we've blown it. And we, they, uh, and the Cardinals have four takeaways. The Browns had, uh, they made dumb mistakes. There were too many damn penalties that were dumb, and they just could not do anything right today. And so, by far, I have to give credit to the Cardinals because they just. Dominated this game from the get-go, and uh, the Browns just could not do anything right. But I got to give the game balls to uh, Kyler Murray, 19 of 24 carries in the Times, 219 yards, uh, one touchdown, one interception. Keenan uh, Drake, 22 carries, 137 yards, and uh, as the one reception, uh, 137 yards rushing, nine yards receiving, four touchdowns, no interceptions, and Demir Bird. Eight receptions, 86 yards. Now, although the Browns lost, I'm going to tell you, Baker Mayfield had three, 30, 40, 30 of 43 carries in attempts, 247 yards. He did throw two touchdown passes, had one interception. And that was the OBJ pass that was dropped. And uh, Nick Chubb, who had, a de- who had the only Browns decent day today, had 17 uh, carries, 127 yards, one touchdown. And OBJ... Uh, eight receptions, 66 yards. But they 
they just were not on the ball today, and I have to tell you. And, uh, um, and against the Cardinals, Beckham had eight catches for 66 yards, as I mentioned, and his 59 receptions ties him with uh, Cole Beasley and puts him behind players like uh, Calvin Ridley. But even though he's one of the best players in the NFL, uh, he's just, he's just not, the talent's there, but he's just not, he's not, not producing, but we know he's not going to want to leave Cleveland. And, uh, and I apologize for my frustration. I know we're all frustrated. We're angry. We're frustrated because we wanted this team to do something this year and end this uh, drought of losing seasons. And this team is not even close to doing that. And I don't think any of us, we just don't want a winning season. We want to be in the playoffs. We want to win the AFC championship besides the division. And we want to win a goddamn Super Bowl. And I apologize for my frustrations. Because we're all in pain right now. We are just all us Browns fans. The players are in pain. The media is in pain by far. And we just want this to, this drought of losing seasons to end. But uh, my brother-in-law, we're going to go to the, uh, the late games. And uh, you already know the Browns lost 30-24 at University of Phoenix Stadium in Phoenix, Arizona today. Uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Upset the Oakland Raiders today, 20-16 to at Oakland Company Coliseum in uh, Oakland, California. In the final seconds of that game, and I got to give the game ball to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, Gilbert Minshew, uh, Garner Minshew, excuse me, and uh, uh, Leonard Ferrante. Uh, the Minnesota Vikings all over the L.A. Chargers, 39-10 at StubHub Center in L.A., and, uh, boy, the Chargers, they just, uh, they, they just let this one, uh, Minnesota just got control of it, and they just ran away with the game, and they just didn't have a chance. The Dallas Cowboys all over the Rams today in Big D, 41-21. to And the San Francisco 49 the Falcons beat the San Francisco 49ers at Levi Stadium in San Francisco, 23-22, to because there was a call that was reversed. They got the touchdown, and it was, and they beat him by one. So I give the game ball to Michael Vick in that one. And for the Vikings, it's Kirk Cousins, and for the Cowboys, it's Dave Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott. And the Bills and Steelers are uh, battling it out on Sunday Night Football. They're up ten to seven, and the uh, Colts and Saints are battling it out tomorrow on Monday Night Football at Mercedes-Benz Superdome. And Bills and Steelers are at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. Uh, right now, I lost on uh, the Dallas game, besides the Oakland and the uh, San Francisco game. And, uh, and so, uh, and, but I won on Minnesota and Philly at Minnesota. So right now, I am, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and five right now. My brother-in-law, Eric Hoyle, is 10-4. and four. So, if the Steelers win, which I took Pittsburgh, I would go to 10-5, and five, and my uh, brother-in-law would fall to 10-5. and five. We would end up in a tie, but if the Bills win, he would go to 11-4. So, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Uh, well, I got to... Getting back to the Browns, I just feel this game was not what we wanted to have happen today. And uh, we just feel we were... In the moment where we wanted to win this game and uh, be in a good position with the rematch with the Ravens next week, because we got them coming to town next week. And <laughs> I'll tell you this, boys, you got to be damn well ready for that one, because you got Lamar Jackson, who's been hot as of late. And I got to tell you, he has been hot, especially this Thursday night against the Jets this past Thursday. So you really got to be ready. And you got to beat Baltimore next week by far. That is a must. I must win. You must beat the Ravens. You must make the plays. Listen to what Freddie Kitchens is telling you, even though he doesn't care. You listen. And you practice hard, and you'll be ready to play here at home at First Energy Stadium. Once again, I apologize for my anger and my frustration. Well, that's just about going to wrap it up for Scott Sports 101. 
Late game, post game show, Sunday Night Football, third quarter update show. I'll have a uh, complete uh, Sunday Night Football post game show once the Bills Steelers game is concluded. But until then, always remember be a team player each and every day in every way possible. So long, everybody. 3 2 1. I'm done.